Well, we are hoping to inspire and spark the Ama Italiano in you with a Fatties and Moni's five ingredients red pepper pesto and acha pasta salad. Now, this is the kind of recipe that will set you apart in the Fatties and Moni's Wednesdays competition and get your entry notice. Trust me, you want to take notes and get inspired. And here to help us, we have Chef Mbombi and, of course, brand anchor Tembi Siete in studio with us and I'm very excited because I love this pasta. I always thought you would, re I always refer to it as bow pasta, but I believe it's also butterfly pasta. And it has its own name, it's uh, Fafale. Oh, Fafale. Fafale. <laughs> the accent, let's not You have to, yeah. How, how would you say it with the accent? Fafale. There we yeah. go, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Amazing. And what is incredible is the Fatties and Moni's Bellissimo range is guaranteed quality Italian inspired pasta. Now, Chef, this is only a five ingredient yeah. pasta salad that you're making. I feel like there's pressure. The less ingredients, the more there is that it needs to be executed. Five Perfectly. Five ingredients is enough. Five and ingredients is enough. Yeah, and I think it's it's pretty much straightforward, uh, very, very simple. Mm -hmm. Something to, to, to do at home, you know, very easy, quick, back from work, and it's just that easy. Oh, fantastic. And what we have here is the red peppers, um, archer. So this is a vegetable archer, and you can use basically the mango archer and stuff like that, and this is garlic olive oil. So what you're going to do... Yes. We're going <laughs> to let you... Mix everything yeah? around here. So okay. we're gonna mix everything around here. So we throw oh, everything you're taking in the there. Gloves? Yes, oh, baby. But, then... but did you see how I took them off? You don't just. You just have to. Yes. Of course. We can. We can. Okay. Now let me should put we, them. Should we save it here? And it's nice here. and safe yeah, over keep there. It in now. So I'm waiting for this. Tembi, I need to ask you. When it comes to various pastas, are you a spicy, <gasps> creamy, a... tomato-based? Oh, I love spicy, but not spicy hot. Just spicy with flavor mm. and creams as well but my favorite favorite is pesto oh you can put pesto anywhere you will never go wrong oh you can never go wrong with yeah. pesto i yeah. agree with yeah. you and you know what's beautiful about pesto it's such a like i want to say clean ingredient because it's so simplistic mm -hmm. and it heroes the pasta absolutely oh fantastic so chef suit, you suit, got our pasta in stuff yeah i got the farfalle in um, that is cooking as per packet instructions. Yeah. Um, you can go back, you can go to the back of the packet and read that and how to cook it. So I'll let you do the, the honors. Okay, let me Please follow Please mix you. everything for us. Okay. Put it in here. So, so yeah. we roasted the peppers yeah. beforehand. So basically we, we take the peppers, we roast them, drizzle them with oil, salt and pepper. Then it's either you can grill them, roast them, and you can, once you've, you've roasted them for about 15, 20 minutes, you can then peel off the skins. And I'll blend just everything with in. my spoon okay. and not go wild with oil. You love brizzle pesto, so it has one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but so not too much. much. Okay, you see everything in here. Ah, uh, come on. We don't want to be like. Are you being a mom right <laughs> now? <laughs> you have to play with oil, please. Let's be gentle with oil. <laughs> okay, that's okay, fine. Okay, that's so, fine, right? So, chef, does this recipe work with green peppers and yellow peppers, or should we go with the red peppers? Okay. <laughs> roast it beforehand because you really yeah. get the flavor profiles yeah. coming through. 110 percent. So this can work with anything really uh, because you can basically make the pesto um, which is the red pepper pesto and this is basically the same process that you you do when you do the, 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 the basil pesto and other mm, pestos. Okay. And you can infuse the meat in there. Ah. So the bacon or whether it's the, the chicken so on and so forth. Or you can keep it vegetarian and just go for the pesto like we've gone today. 110 percent. Oh, so okay. what we've done, the pesto here, it's done. As you can see there, mm. um, it is everything infused uh, with the farfalle pasta and the red pepper basil pesto with acha. Okay. Pasta. What gives it pesto that green fill? What what uh, veggie or what pep do they use to give it that green? Is so, it the same so, one there? So it's a, it's a ba basil pesto. Basil pesto. Okay. I, that's my okay. Of which, of which you can I, I'm make. looking forward to you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I only know the green one. So let's, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> what, what is incredible about the farfalle pasta bows are that are delicious and can be used as a base for any dish and it really is ideal for salads and it can also be baked or tossed into a stir yeah. fry dish. I love what we've done here today. I mean, chef, when it comes to salads, how 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 fond are you how fond are you of salads? 
I'm, I'm trying to be very, very fond of salads because, as you can see, <laughs> the way I'm trying to... Uh... No, but Chef, this just shows you salads doesn't have to just be lettuce. It can be a yummy, yummy, cold pasta yeah. salad. Definitely. I mean, um, you're looking at the pasta, and more especially the Fattis and Monis pasta, it's very versatile. It is. You know, so you can make it as a main, as a side, as a salad, um, depending on what you throw in there. And mm. this is, is actually quite healthy. Yeah. That now is. that we've used, you know, the, the, acha, the acha pasta. So I'm thinking yeah. now going to a braai and having that with your vors and your your chops and whatever and that being the perfect pasta to go with it or even if you just want to keep it dainty and have that for lunch later today don't you have meat in the fridge we'll, we'll, we'll spice it up how, how, what, what would you pair that with what, what, what would your go-to be uh, you know what? I think it's perfect alone. But if I were to pair it, yeah, I think a nice creamy chicken will also work Ooh, here. Definitely. And you can also add a bit of cheese as well and make it warm, eat it warm, eat yeah. it cold. So it, it can, oh, it will work. Listen, we? it will work. Yes. May I offer you yes, a, please, a ma fork? Go no, for it. Ladies, you can't feed yourself a minute. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, Imagine. chef. Oh. Oh. Right. Mm. Okay. Mm. I also get flavor, flavor. See? It's definitely taking me back home. The mm. archa, that's nice. what we call Afro Italian. <laughs> there we go. Tempe, thank you for joining us today, <laughs> Chef Bombi. What a great recipe that you've just shown us. And if you truly love your pasta and you're proudly Ama Italiano, then show it to us at the Fatties and Monies Wednesday Challenge. That is hashtag Fatties and Monies Wednesday Challenge. And if you want to know how to enter, well, here's how. If you love your pasta and you're proudly Ama Italiano, then show it in the all new hashtag Fatties and Monies Wednesday Challenge. From the 8th to the 29th of March, four very lucky Espresso viewers stand the chance of winning your own Nutri-Bullets, plus a Fatty Zamoni's hamper valued at 500 Rand. But you need to be inspired. We want you to post a picture of your favorite Afro-Italian meal, along with a product pic of the Fatty Zamoni's product that you used on the Espresso Facebook competition post or on your Instagram page. So follow and tag at fatties underscore and underscore monies in your entry and make sure to add hashtag fatties and monies Wednesdays and the competition closes on the 29th of March. T's and C's apply. In fact, bravo Mataliano. Bravo to you and us. Oh, yeah.